गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई वेलकम यू इन अवर फोर्थ क्लिनिकल मीट द टॉपिक गिवन टू मी इज एनेस्टिशिया एट रिमोट लोकेशन एनेस्टिशिया एट रिमोट लोकेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नॉन ऑपरेटिंग रूम एनेस्टिशिया दैट इज नोरा ऑफिस बेस्ड एनेस्टिशिया एम्बुलेटरी एनेस्टिशिया एंड एनेस्टिशिया इन नॉन एनवायरमेंट हेन्स फोर्थ आई विल यूज द टर्म नोरा रिसेंटली इन द नंबर ऑफ नोरा केसेस आर ऑन राइज ड्यू टू न्यूर डायग्नोस्टिक मोर्टेलिटीज विच आर डेवलपिंग development of minimally invasive proce therapeutic procedures in uh, some procedures patients are of high risk and uh, no invasive procedure is not preferred for them then rapidly growing technologies and increased interest amongst uh, medicine proceduralists which are these nora places the radiology suits like ct mri endoscopy suits cardiac catheterization lab Uh, interventional pulmonary suits psychiatry suits dentistry and nuclear scan or pet scan challenges related to nora nora imposes unique challenges to us uh, which are categorized at three steps patient procedure and the environment what are the patient related challenges the patients coming to radiology suits investigation uh, today we will focus nora uh, for ct and mri only uh, the patients coming to radiology suits for investigations are extremes of age like uh, day 1 to 90 years old almost they are asa 3 or 4 patients difficult airway or obese patients uh, it is difficult to fit them in mri or ct tunnel and even the airway is difficult to reach sick patients offered procedures but otherwise unfit non optimized patients Uh, some emergency diagnostic procedures like stroke protocol that time we don't have time or you we should not wait for the optimization of patient we have to do it then in, inadequately investigated patients inadequate npo patients or procedures related to full stomach like mrcp scan and mentally challenged patient challenges related to pediatric patient pediatric is itself challenges challenging uh, kids with congenital syndromes like Uh, down syndrome pier robin syndrome they, these present stick to airway group and uh, over anxious children they are they keep running even it is difficult to take them in the scan room then sick children then uh, excessive crying children due to uh, npm period they they don't allow uh, us to auscultate and don't cooperate to examine then violent children and children with seizure disorder to to add to this is or anxious parents and crying parents uh, procedure related challenges these procedures are time consuming cost effectiveness uh, effectiveness is questionable unexpected delays are always expected unfamiliar procedures where the technician doesn't know what is the time required the exact procedure if it is needed or not or which sequences are needed then definitive requirement of anesthesia is unknown to uh, all of us of working hours for these procedures and the risk involved in the uh, radiology suit is radiation exposure some reactions to contrast will vary from mild pruritus to anaphylaxis there is involved uh, some uh, risk of contrast induced nephropathy and burns of tattoo is also seen in mrs suit environment related, related challenges are uh, remote location far far, far from pharmacy and supplies sometimes ct and mri are only diagnostic centers and not attached to any hospitals remotely placed mobile phones also uh, poses challenge because uh, there is no two way communication or no uh, communication for call for help difficult to get oxygen supply noisy environment and crowd limited work space the machines are very huge in a small room and so small work uh, work space uh, airway or iv line is not easily accessible poor lighting then inadequate temperature regulation uh, there is difficult two way communication uh, electrical and magnetic interference by the machines non maintenance of uh, and uh, and in inadequately maintained anesthesia equipments lack of skilled anesthesia support staff inadequate power supply radiation exposure and non availability of standard monitors if these many challenges are there then go ahead for nora or not and if we accept the challenge then what is the next goal as seen uh, the radiologist is also on remote location so if uh, we don't want to do uh, 
who want to perform these procedures, their onus is totally on the anesthesiologist. Carrying out these NORA cases is uh, not a job of a single person, but it is a teamwork, and we should involve all the team uh, members for NORA. These include the proceduralists, nurses, technicians, anesthesia assistant, ancillary staff members like Mama Maushi, emergency on-call anesthesia colleague, and parents and relatives. First, we have to set our goals for NORA cases. Almost 10 goals may be there. First is patient fitness, take time to counsel, smooth transfer of patients, preparedness and rescue plan, safety during procedure, troubleshoots and time management, sound completion of the procedure, standard of anesthesia, standard of monitoring, and early and safe discharge. Uh, for patient fitness, NPO status is the first question to be asked and confirmed. Complete history of, especially for the pediatric patients, which includes the birth history, milestone development, any disease conditions, and recent, recent illnesses. The complete physical and airway examination, operative history for the orthopedic implants and cardiac devices is crucial for the MRI scan. As much as much possible investigation should be asked. Uh, previous medical records and medis, uh, medication history should be seen, and allergic history should be taken if any. There is always a big confusion for a small thing, children with URDI. Uh, we, uh, we are always in confusion. We should go ahead with the children with the URDI or not. These uh, URDI infections can be uh, categorized into mild, moderate, and severe. In mild cases, there is only watery or nasal watery nasal secretion and dry cough. Uh, we should access the dis, uh, sorry. We should discuss the risk benefit ratio for proceeding or postponing. If we want to proceed, then consider nebulization with the salbutamol inhalation and uh, pr uh, prior to anesthesia. In moderate cases, with uh, purulent nasal secretion, moist cough, again the same. But in severe cases, if patient, uh, if the kid has bees, purulent nasal secretion, moist cough, fever, then straightway postpone the patient if there is not emergency, start appropriate treatment, and reassess up to two weeks for the elective procedure. Take time to counsel. Counseling is 50% work done in NORA cases. Uh, always counsel the parents about the risk, uh, risk benefit. Take assent from them. Uh, patient should also uh, counsel for the procedure, the requirement, and cooperation required, and the relatives. Uh, as we have seen, seek patient offered procedure, uh, but otherwise unfit. So don't hesitate to tell them that is it, it is your patient is at high risk, but not, not the procedure. Then the next goal is smooth transfer of patients. Sometimes we have to mobilize the patient from ICU for these cases. And these patients are mechanically ventilated with more, many monitoring devices, drug infusions for hemodynamic support, multiple catheters and tubes like PT tube, tracheal tube or RT, IV lines, CVP and arterial lines, police catheter, ICD, post-op drains. We, we have to take care of all this. And, uh, always crowded by, uh, these patients are always crowded by relatives. It, is it possible to transfer them so smoothly that planning is very essential? So next slide. Planning is essential. Green corridor, prior appointment, consent of relatives about the risk involved in transport. Airway equipments like AMBU with mask is very essential. Emergency drug carrier, oxygen cylinders and devices. Portable monitors, which are fully charged. Then mobilized staff and call to elevator is very essential. Prior to the shifting, we should suction the airways or RT, empty urine bag, and carry power cords and extension lines. Then the next goal is preparedness and rescue plan. As per ASS standards of NORA, the basic requirement for cases is uh, remembered with simple mnemonic soap me. S-O-A-P-M-E. Next slide, sir. S stands for uh, suction, proper size suction catheters and functioning suction apparatus. Then oxygen. Oxygen is central source with a flow meter and spare E-cylinder. A for, sir, next slide. 
A is for the all airway equipments, appropriate size, age and weight, uh, appropriate for size for the age and weight of the patient, difficult airway card, and self inflatable, uh, inflatable ventilating ampu bag, MRI compatible laryngoscopes. We have it, this set. Then P stands for pharmacy. Basic drugs of anesthesia, emergency drugs for resuscitation, and reversal agents for opioids and benzodiazepines. Then M. Next, uh, M stands for the monitors, which are pulse oximeter, NIBP, ECD monitor, ETCO2 monitor, and temperature monitor. Then means of communication, uh, E stands for emergency equipments, which in, uh, includes means of communication, uh, that is mobile, proper lights, gas scavenging system, cell, uh, il, uh, safe electrical outlets, extension tubes for IV and defibrillator. Then comes the rescue plan. You should be ready with the rescue plan to mobilize the patient, staff, colleague, equipments and drugs during the emergency situation. Troubleshoots and time management. Compared to city, uh, MRI scan takes reasonably long time for scanning. Uh, to avoid these troubleshoots and time uh, time um, duration, we should be uh, prepared for the action required prior to the scan. Repeat, uh, troubleshoots are repeat MRI sequences due to artifacts. Uh, so you should remove the jelly, which is required for EEG. Uh, then uh, hair pins, ECG leads, jeans, or clothing with small buttons, and stick away the cups of ET tube and tracheal tracheostomy tube. Then motion artifacts. MRI machine is very sensitive for motion. So keep the airway open. Uh, if there is snoring, then uh, MRI is unable, uh, uh, sorry, the scans are not very uh, good. Uh, give packing to the head or spine, cotton earplugs, so patient hears less sound and uh, will not move. Then the pediatric IV difficulties. It is time consuming. So take cannula before late hours of fasting. So veins are uh, visible. Ready with two or more uh, number of intracats. Don't ask for prolonged fasting for these patients. And don't hesitate to take help from your body. Then appointment issues. Uh, sometimes patients come for the scan and we make them unfit. And to avoid this, inform about NPO status investigations prior to the appointment. Bring, uh, ask them to bring the medical records and treatment of your prior to the appointment. Safety precautions. Safety is for all um, doctors, then the uh, technician, patients, and relatives. So, uh, no entry to pregnant female at the radiology suit like CT scan. Screening should be done at entry only. Don't allow or anxious parents to the procedure room. Use of, use of protective devices. Uh, for uh, uh, headphones for the MRI and uh, X-ray protective devices for CT scan. Pre-procedure screening, uh, screening is uh, important. Screen before entering. Uh, patients with orthopedic implants or cardiac devices should not enter MRI room. Some objects like mobile, then stretcher, coins, oxygen cylinder, which are ferromagnetic objects, uh, they, are not, uh, they are prohibited for the MRI suit. Pregnant females should not enter the CT scan. Next goal is sound completion of the procedure. MRI and CT, it is not a noxious stimuli. Then when, why there is need of anesthesia? Uh, some patients are uncooperative and mentally challenged. Pediatric age group, discomfort felt by the patient due to noise generated by machine. To remain motionless for, for long duration, it is not possible for all. Position discomfort due to physical issues like backache, claustrophobia, and anxiety. Then standards of anesthesia. Our aim is rapid onset of action uh, of anesthesia, then short duration. There is no or minimal respiratory depression and speedy recovery. Easily titrable drugs are preferred. We have options are dexmedetomidine, midazolam, pentanine. Pentazosin, propofol, ketamine, etomidate, pre-medication with atropine, glycopyrrolate, condensetron, and other uh, emergency drugs should be in hand, like hydrocortisone, adrenaline, dexamethasone, terephylline, and pantocrazone.
selection of anesthesia technique, uh, uh, the rule is less is more. It ranges from MAC to general anesthesia. Uh, some kids are very cooperative. If you tell them you are very strong and the machine will not uh, do anything or it will just make a noise and after the scan you will get a dairy milk. Then only dairy milk can do for them. It is helpful for sick child uh, so as they are, uh, there is no need to stay in BM for longer time after the scan. Special technique for neonates is feed, wrap, sleep and scan. This is helpful in neonates of diabetic mother the neonates prone for hypo, hyper, hyper, sorry, hypoglycemia, acute URI with emergency need of scan, and CT scan, in which the time required is very less. Then standard monitoring, MRI compatible uh, monitoring devices are needed. Continue monitoring is expected. The monitors include pulse oximeter, temperature monitor, etc monitor, and ECG monitor. And for MRI, we have this uh, MRI compatible pulse oximeter. One more thing we should monitor is the respiratory rate. We should keep some light object on patient chest or uh, abdomen to see the respiratory movements from distance place. Then uh, most important part is post-procedure care. Ensure proper documentation of the patient, shifting to recovery area, it should be uh, always smooth. Then post-procedure monitoring should be continued. Proper handover and instructions uh, to the responsible post-op recovery staff. Then optimum hydration uh, during the recovery period is also expected. And speedy recovery and safe discharge is our aim. Take home, my take-home message is, Nora is just a change of place. Nothing has changed for anesthesiologists. We uh, should give the same care, same anesthesia standards, same monitoring standards, and same responsibilities, or maybe more as we do, do all this. Thank you.